Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will share 10 tips and tricks for your Asus Zen watch. Before we dive into the tips, just be aware that the Asus Zen watch is powered by the Android Wear operating system, so you do need an Android smartphone with the Android Wear app installed on it to fully utilize your watch's features. If you look at the phone, you will see that I have the Android Wear app running on my smartphone and it indicates that the Asus Zen watch is connected to it using Bluetooth. So with that in mind, let's dive in and learn some awesome tips and tricks. And if you do want to see the full setup and review of the Asus Zen watch, see the description below for a link to that video. All right, so the first tip I'm gonna give you guys is how you can use your Asus Zen watch as a remote shutter to control the camera on your actual smartphone. So if I launch the camera on my smartphone, What's going to happen is you're going to see a little button pop up on my actual phone. If I tap on this button, it's going to take me to the shutter screen. And if I tap it, it's going to allow me to take a picture remotely using my watch on my phone. Okay, so after you take the picture, you get a slight, a, a small preview of the picture you just took. You can slide that away, and the button is going to stay there as long as you have the app, the photo app running on your phone. So if I tap this again, I can take one more picture. And there's also a built-in three-second timer. Okay, so that's how you use your uh, watch as a remote shutter for your phone's camera. Now, there is another even better way to control the camera on your phone using your watch. So what you have to do is you have to go and download Zen Watch Remote Camera App for the Asus Zen Watch. Now this is an only an ASUS only feature, so you're not gonna get this on other watches. So once you grab this app right here, you have two options. So assuming you have installed it, you can either launch it from here, or you can go to the apps for your actual watch, which are all the way at the bottom, under the start menu, you tap that. If you scroll down, you will see the remote camera. So let's launch it and see what you can do and how much better this is than just a regular remote shutter. Let's tap that and what that's going to do is that's going to launch the application. Now the first thing you can do is you can take an actual picture simply by tapping on the screen. So tap and that takes a picture and there's no countdown timer. Now the other thing you can do is you can pull from bottom to top and you get a menu. In this menu you can switch from camera to video mode you can, by tapping this button, you can have a timer. Now we have a five second timer. So if I tap this, you get a five second timer. And then the other things you can do, you can go back, turn off the timer. You can also enable or disable or create the flash to be auto. So right now it's in auto mode. Tap it one more time. This is always on for the flash. Tap it one more time, and that's going to disable the flash. Okay, so let's do one with this. Pull it down, take a picture, and as you can see, the flash just fired. And then the other thing you can do is you can actually do digital zoom using this, um, this app. So as you can see, we are, in fact, digitally zooming in and zooming out, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, two more final things, if you pull this up, you can switch to the video mode. So from here, if you tap this, it's going to start recording a video. And then another thing I want to show you guys is, let's go back to camera mode. Now what you can do is when you move this um, camera, you actually get a live preview of the viewfinder on this phone right on the, on the watch. Okay, so as I move this around, you can see the viewfinder in the phone is also moving. So that's the Zen Watch remote camera app that you can download for your Asus Zen Watch. And remember, this is an Asus Zen Watch feature only. All right, so the next tip has to do with how you can use your watch to control the music player on your phone. So let's uh, start it right from here. So tap on the phone, go all the way down, and this takes you to the apps. When you go all the way down to and go to start, it takes you to the apps installed on your watch. Tap it, scroll down until you see play music. And once you see play music, simply tap on it. And what that's going to do is that's going to start the application right on your phone.
So let me pause that, and I'm going to show you something. So you can play, pause. But the other thing you can do is you can swipe this to the left, and you get all these options. So you can reduce the volume, which I'm going to do right now. You can go to the next track, and when you, when you change the track, the background color changes to the track's color. So lower the volume. So let's go to the previous track. And that's going to change the background color of your phone. So that's a nice little touch. And if you go one more time, you can give this song a thumbs up. If you go one more time, you can give it a thumbs down. Alrighty. So let's swipe back here. Here's a controller for your music playback. Next track, previous track, volume up, volume down. And then you can play and pause. And then you can swipe this away. So this is how you can control the music on your phone using your watch, which is a really, really nice, smooth feature. All right, so for the next tip, you don't even need the actual watch. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to show you what you can do. So go home. And uh, from here, if you go to the Android Wear application, and if you tap on the settings icon, there's two very crucial options here that are very beneficial. First one is watch battery. So if you tap this, you can get complete details on the battery life of your phone. And if you look on the top here, you'll see that you have 59% battery life left on your uh, watch, approximately 13 hours left based on your previous usage. And you see the blankness over here? That means the phone, I mean the watch was simply shut off at that time. And if you go down here, it will give you the percentage for what app or system utility has been using the battery life. So just by having the watch idling, I wasted 10% of the battery life. The screen took 6%, the wellness app took 1%, and so on and so forth. But this is fantastic because you can get some in-depth battery information. Especially I like it when you can see approximately 13 hours left for your battery to die on your watch. Now the other tip in conjunction to this guy in the same app is watch storage. Now, as you know, ASUS comes with a 4 gigabytes of storage, built-in storage. And this will give you the breakdown of how your storage is being utilized. So if you need to clean up your watch, you can go, go and do so. But this is perfect. So this game here, uh, Tic-Tac-Toe, is taking 12 megabytes of my watch's storage. And the remote camera application we just downloaded and installed, the one that I just demoed for you guys, that's taking 12 megabytes right here. And same with all these uh, different watch faces and all these tiny system utilities. All right, so the next tip has to do with the watch manager. Again, this is an ASUS-only tip. If you buy the ASUS Zen Watch, it comes with this watch manager app. You can find and install on your smartphone on the Play Store. Now, just by installing this application, you get a lot of uh, functionality boost for your watch. So let me show you how that works. If you launch this application, a really nice interface, but if you scroll down, here's all the things you can do, ZenWatch app. So one of, the, one of the ones that I really like is Find My Watch. So if you misplaced your watch somewhere, you can tap this, and your watch starts to vibrate. And what you can do is you can, once you find your watch, you can simply swipe to dismiss, okay? And it stops the vibration uh, through the phone as well. And the next feature is something I absolutely love. So it's called Forgot Phone Warning. So if you tap this, Okay, let's read this. It says, by turning on phone forgot warning, ZenWatch will vibrate to remind you when the phone is not around you. So basically, you turn this on and off up here. You see that button right there? That's off and that's on right there. So let's say you were wearing your watch in your hand, but you forgot your phone and you're walking away. What's going to happen is after a certain distance elapses between you and the phone, your watch is going to vibrate telling you your phone is out of range. So then you can go back and you can grab your phone so you don't forget it. And then if you tap this green icon at the bottom that says recommended for you, it's going to give you all the recommendation of apps that you should download. And these apps will work in conjunction, conjunction with your watch, which is going to enhance the usability of your watch. And the other very important thing that a lot of people don't understand is if you go into Play Store, you can actually look for Android Wear apps. So type in Android Wear, and it's going to give you a bunch of suggestions. So if you tap on any one of these, it's going to give you a whole slew of Android Wear apps. 
one of them which is the Wear Internet Browser. So you can have a little browser on your watch. It's not going to be fully functional, but it's still going to work uh, if you're bored. And you have the calculator, you got the weather apps, you got flashlights, and you got a whole slew of apps you can download. Now once you go and download an app, what happens is it goes into your watch. And I've been talking about this, but I'll show you one more time. So tap on the screen, scroll all the way down, tap start, and all the apps will be sitting right here. So here's the calculator app. If you tap it, it's going to get you a calculator. Okay, tap again. And then you can have games as well. Tic-tac-toe, tap that. One player, and you can play tic tac so the next feature I really like is what's called the always on screen so basically right now we have the always on enabled and uh, what that does is the phone never shuts off even when the phone goes to sleep mode you'll get this black and white watch face that you can continually peek into to get the time and other information if I tap the screen it wakes up the phone you see the actual watch face now if I go into settings go inside scroll down and turn this feature off always on screen off what's gonna happen is when you when your phone goes to sleep mode it's actually gonna turn off so you're gonna see a blank screen let me show you what that looks like as you can see there's nothing to look at and I can double tap and it's gonna wake up but I simply don't like this option so I always keep my screen to be always on it is going to waste a little more battery life, but it's worth it. And then one more thing I want to show you guys. If you go to accessibility at the bottom here, you can change the size of the text. Large text, so the text is now larger. Okay, And that's going to be across the board. If you like the small text, go back, tap it, click OK, and now you have the small text. On your watch, you also have the sunlight mode. So basically what happens is if you're out and about and it's a sunny day, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to see your screen properly. So what the sunlight mode does is it, it, is, it gives you a boost in your screen brightness. So you can actually see the screen for a couple of seconds with that increased brightness. So all you, go, you, all you do is, like I just did, go to settings, sunlight mode, and as you can see there was a boost in brightness on your watch for a few seconds and that actually helps if you're under sunlight and cannot see your screen alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.